Released in 2004, Gran Turismo 4 for the PS2 stands as one of the most popular racing games of all time. Whether you experienced it on a CRT TV in the mid-2000s, played it on HDTVs with component cables or HDMI converters, emulated it years ago, or have never touched it, I have something exciting to share with you in 2023. Imagine taking Gran Turismo 4 from its original visuals into an entirely new level. Today, we have the power of emulation, specifically the newly improved PS2 emulator, PCSX2. With this emulator, you can witness Gran Turismo 4 transformed, including improved resolution, shaders, and upscale textures and user interface. My goal with this video is to help the masses rediscover Gran Turismo 4 in 2023. Emulation development for Gran Turismo 4 has been slow over the years. The game suffered from numerous performance issues, rendering it nearly unplayable on various hardware configurations and even taxing high-end systems on high-end settings. However, with the new PCSX2 QT versions, you can now experience significantly improved performance. Although, if you're using a budget laptop from 2013 or something of that sort, you might still face some obvious limitations. Additionally, you have the option to install upscale texture packs for further visual enhancements. There are two versions available, the original retexture mod by Haters and GTA Fan, and the UI slash HUD texture mod by Silent Warrior 112. While the original retexture mod is debatable due to its mixed texture quality, I personally recommend the HD UI slash HUD texture mod for its crispiness and minimal drawbacks. However, if desired, you can combine both texture mods, if that suits your interests. Moreover, the emulator itself offers various improvements, including cheat features. For example, you can add trigger sensitivity for controllers, activate a Gran Turismo 3 style chase cam, enjoy a 360 degree rotating camera, and even enable automatic progressive scan without accessing the options menu every time you launch the game. For those familiar with Cheat Engine, SpecDB, or the Save Editor, the possibilities expand even further. These tools allow you to push the game beyond its original boundaries. For example, the things that I have done are everything from forcing six car rally races to creating unique and also cursed hybrid cars, making fully customized one lap magics, and even tweaking car weight to negative values, resulting in some interesting outcomes. With these tools, there is no shortage of experimentation. Furthermore, let's not overlook the online racing mode, which was revived by the PS2 online team two years ago. Surprisingly, still very few people are actually aware of this. Back in 2006, a limited number of players had the chance to participate in an online beta test version of Gran Turismo 4. The servers were short-lived and have been dormant ever since. However, in the spring of 2021, new servers emerged rekindling the online feature. While some issues remained, such as lag caused by emulator users or login difficulties, it's important to remember that this is an online beta from 2006, so we cannot expect perfection. However, when you are in a perfect race, there's no beating it. And last but not least, as of this year, we are entering the era of real modding for Gran Turismo 4. Recently, I have been exploring the Gran Turismo 4 randomizer mod, which adds an element of surprise by randomizing the prize cars that you can win. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, I actually wanted this! <sighs> Yay! Another Suzu! Woo! Additionally, the upcoming Spec 2 mod by a talented group of individuals introduces fresh changes and in features, including new car sounds, UI and menu enhancements, and quality of life improvements. Keep an eye out for my dedicated video on this ongoing mod in the near future.
And so that is the Gran Turismo 4 experience you can rediscover in 2023. For those of you interested in any of the points that I have covered throughout this video, I will have all sources linked in the description if you would like to learn more about certain things, including a very extensive emulation guide for you to set up Gran Turismo 4 on your PCSX2 for yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video and enjoy the rest of the footage without commentary.